We're at Kale & Co in Sunderland. Massive Matsura fans. They've got five access machines, twin pallet machines. But this is one of their latest acquisitions, MX330. John, you run the machine. Tell me all about it, please. Um, well, we've had the machine a little over a year now. Um, at first, it took us a while for it to get the machine tooled up, um, just to give it its full potential. So it's sort of a slight change in strategy in terms of your machining, because you've not done 10 pallets, is that right? 10 pallets, yeah. Um, the most we've had in the past is a uh, twin pallet horizontally, you know, so this is like uh, the first of its kind for us. Um, we've, we've found benefits with the batch work, obviously with our 10 pallets, it'll run for, for hours rather than the average 20 minutes cycle time, you know, but um, more so with like the small parts as well, because uh, each pallet's got uh, like a program assigned to it, so all you're doing is con uh, con pallet, and the program will have uh, its data built into it. So that you set up as, um, if it's proven out, it's just calling the pallet with the program, and it'll run for, it'll run, run the entire job off, whether it's a one-off or a, or a three-off, you know. Okay, so um, with, K with Kale & Co, people who don't know you, I mean, previously you've been more, your smaller batch runs, your oil and gas, yeah. so this has helped to change that dynamic? Yeah, more, more so the oil and gas, the, uh, the small like intricate manifold blocks which would have like half a shift setting before and now it's just kind of, uh, as long as the machine's uh, fixed up ready to go, yep. it'll, it'll do the work for you, you know, so it does save a lot of hours in the uh, setting time. Okay, so you run, you run that, that program the first time, make sure it's all correct and then they'll get another order three months yeah. down the line, you're yeah. just changing the fixturing? Obviously, you're going to run your first part through like you would yeah. normally uh, with the first off with a bit of caution there. But generally, as long as the machine's tooled up, the machine's got 90 tools, so it's tooled for most of all our, our, our like, frequent work, you know. So it's, um, it, it, is, it is beneficial. Okay, so check, you load it up, so you load it with 10 one offs or 10 parts of the same yeah. thing. Easy to change over? Yeah, straightforward. The, um, the machine's just got a a quick release system, you know, so you can change a chuck or a vice or a, or a fixture in basically with a, with a with one screw, you know, that's all it is, or like on a cam and it's, it's, uh, it's dead easy. Nice. Now again, going back to the fact, you used to do a lot of oil and gas, I'm thinking big components, big depths of cart. Now this machine, again, another slight change in strategy? Yeah, that was, that was more of a learning curve for the machine, where it's, um, like you say, in the past, it's sort of like getting the metal off as fast as you can, but with this, it's more, more about tool life, to be honest, because you want to be able to walk away from the machine uh, so you can get uh, the machine's potential. If the machine's going to stop every 10 minutes for a tip change, it's, it's not going to work, you know, so. So this one, you just load up 10 pallets. All right, the cycle time will have probably gone up a little bit. It, it has in compared to a single pallet machine. Yeah. Uh, you take the smaller cuts, but you're focusing more towards the, uh, the tool life. Uh, you've got your tool management there. You've got the laser there for the check for two breakages, so you're not coming back to the machine. Yeah. Um, if you take the heavier cuts on, the, on a single pallet machine, I mean, they, they are still good machines for the heavier work. Yeah. So we'll keep the heavier work for that, the uh, single pallets yeah. and the, uh, the more intricate work for this. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it's like, I mean, essentially a change in machining strategy, but this one, you can run it lights out? Yeah, we have, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're expecting at first it would take about six to eight months for to get lights out, but actually it was nearly like three or four. Uh, we've got some good work through that was that was suitable for the machine, you know, where yeah. we felt confident we wouldn't leave it, you know. So, uh, even one, one of the uh, jobs we had on, I finished my shift, it ran on, on the late shift, and then there was an eight hour gap when he went home, and I came the next day, it was still running, you know. So. All right. Brilliant, okay. Now, Matsura, as I said, you've got lots of Matsura machines. Yeah. This is a new, a new style of machine for you guys. Support for Matsura, how's that been? Uh, oh, excellent. I mean, uh, to be fair, Credit to them, the, the training was enough, you know. Thankfully, I've worked machines, little machines, the twin pallet horizontal, the MX520 in the past, you know. Yep. So for me, it was more just uh, learning the new strategies rather than uh, like, a, like an entirely new thing, you know. But uh, after a week's training, uh, we're, we're away, and there's been very little uh, comeback since, you yep. know. So. And I'm going to ask this you enjoy running the machine? Yeah, yeah, so bother, yeah, it's good. Excellent. Okay, so there you go. It's like a change in strategy for Cal and Co, but it's been really, really good for you guys and take you from small batch runs to big batch runs. Yes. Right. John, thank you very much.